Alright, what's up guys, Mox Vacation here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to update your dashboard to the latest dashboard uh, on your JTAG. Um, so, right now, currently, I'll show you what dashboard we are on. We are on the, uh, oh wait, wrong one, sorry. Uh, not storage. Uh, console settings, uh, where is it? I think it's here, yep, there you go, dashboard. Uh, 16756 uh, and we will be going to the 167 I think it's 16767 I believe um, so uh, yeah um, to start off you are going to want to have um, um, you can either do this with the USB uh, or neighborhood I'm going to use neighborhood to transfer the files that are needed um, but to start off you want to have um, a, fi uh, a program in XCX menu called um, let me just find it, there you go, XCX menu, um, uh, well not a program, it's more of a, um, uh, it's more of like a custom app, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, my name is Moxa real quick, just cause this Xbox doesn't, this JTAG doesn't have any accounts on it, so, um, I'm gonna go on XCX menu, uh, as we are on right now, um, and, uh, you're gonna look for a thing, if you haven't got it, um, then there will be a download in the description. Um, actually, no, it's not really hard to find on the internet. You just look up Flash 360 and then you've got a download. So, uh, yeah, however, I might put it in the description. I don't know. But, yeah, you, you probably will have this anyway. So, you want to look for Flash 360 in, X, in XEX menu. And then you're going to click on it. And then you're going to click on, uh, you know, let me delete these two because I don't need them. They are from uh previous time you want to delete them uh it, there was there's one called uh, up upd flash and then uh, another one called uh update flash i think flash dump that's it so anyway you want to go into flash 360 uh, .xcx, and then from here you want to back up current nand file so x and then a um and then it's going to load up to 100 percent um and what that's doing is it's saving your nand to the to the hard drive um so, uh, yep, and then any button to continue, and then back button to return to main menu, then back button, but, uh, back button to exit. So once you've exited, uh, it's going to take you back to the dashboard. Now this is where we're going to go over to the PC, so see you there. Okay, so now we're on the PC, uh, you're going to open up Neighborhood, uh, however if you didn't have Neighborhood then you want to uh, use a USB stick and you want to transfer um, that file that you just created there, it will be in that folder. Uh, you want to transfer that file onto a USB, um, and then from your USB, um, you want to put it uh, on like in here, it's so, like on your desktop. It, it, it's going to be called a flash dmp.bim. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm going to place that here on the desktop, and there you go, I've got it there. So now you can exit out of the neighborhood, you no longer need that up. Now, from here, uh, you're going to download um, the uh, XE build. Uh, you should have already downloaded it, but you know, whatever. Uh, you want to download XE build and you want to open up the folder. You want to click on XE build GUI 2.0. And then from here, you want to do uh, open. It's going to say uh, source file open. And then you want to find it. And my one is called Flash DMP. And then you want to click open. And once it's opened, everything's going to be ticked. All of these things apart from CPU key. This is where you want your CPU key. So mine is, uh, you, uh, let me find it, here you go. Uh, copy, and then paste it there. And then, uh, you know, everything's all ticked. Then you want to find kernel version. And then you want to click uh, the very bottom one, 16767. Click that. Click uh, generate hacked image. Uh, it's going to go through loads of stuff, and then in a minute it's going to break up a little thing. There you go. Um, you can click any of these, it doesn't matter, but I'm just going to click yes, and then it's going to close it. Now, from here, you will have UPD Flash on your desktop, and then uh, XE Build GUI, that's just a thing, you don't need it. You don't. You really don't need that. So, uh, yeah, now, uh, so this is the one before, this is the one after, this is just your backup. Uh, so, you do need this. Uh, just in case your um, JTAG were to break or crash or whatever, you just want to make a little folder on your desktop somewhere or somewhere special called backup. 
and then you want to put that in the backup and then yeah so that's your backup NAND just in case it breaks so yeah but it won't um, so yeah and then from here you just want to put that back into the folder um, in Flash 360 uh, with the USB you would do the same thing put this on a USB and then put it back into the Flash 360 folder um, so here I'm going to put that in there and then there you go and then we're going to go back over to the Xbox okay so now we're back on the Xbox you want to go to XCX menu um, and then from XCX menu as I'll show you in a minute you want to find Flash 360 again um, and then Flash360.xcx and you'll see the flash dump and the UPD flash uh, in that folder um, and then you want to do button A to write flash uh, update to write update flash dot bin to NAND then you want to do A uh, if you want to keep the current KV config um, and then it's going to say uh, basically warning you cannot go back from here um, and then you know button A to restart uh, restart basically go back and then uh, start button to ignore and continue so I'm gonna press that and then uh, a button to begin and then the other button to return so a button and then it's gonna go through all of these blocks and then it's gonna uh, go from 0 to 100% and the second is 100% I'm pretty sure it's gonna turn off your Xbox so uh, oh yeah uh, any button to continue and then back button to return to main menu and back button to shut down. Now from here, I'm gonna go over to the PC so I can the so then I can carry on talking to you guys. So see you there. Okay, so now it just turned off, and uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna unplug the power, uh, the power thing, uh, the power. I forget what it's called, the power brick, um, from the console, uh, and that allows it to reset. It allows it to reset the time and everything else on the console. So I'm just going to do that real quick, um, and uh, you don't have to do it for long, you only have to do it for about, what's it, maybe 5-10 um, seconds, people said 30 seconds, but why would you need to do it for that, you know, it's maybe 5 seconds, so I've unplugged it, I'm plugging it back in, and then I'm going to turn on the console, and then once it's nearly on, you'll see me back on the console, so I will uh, see you on the console again. Yeah. Okay, so now we're back on the console. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, sign in to the offline account and then show you guys the dashboard that we're on from now in a second. Um, so, yep, that was totally expected. The console ban, there is no KV on the console. So, where is it? Console settings. Oh, there you go, dashboard 2.0. Point one six seven six seven point oh, so yeah, we're now on 16767, and that was how to update. So, I hope it helped. Like the video if it helped a lot, um, and favorite the video if you uh, want to come back to it and watch it again, and uh, share the video if you think it's gonna help others. Uh, so, yeah, thanks guys, modification, and goodbye.